So, before going to the properties of benzene, generally in all organic compounds we find preparations and the properties. But here we have a another small an extra topic called structure of benzene. Structure of benzene. So, how this structure of the benzene is proved is also having a, a crucial uh, placement in the different asking the questions and all that. So, therefore, let us concentrate some points on this particular structure of benzene. So, let us take point Y there. Its molecular formula is decided as C 6 H 6 based on the molecular weight and then percentages and all that we will decide this physical analysis will give this its formula is C 6 H 6 that means there are only 6 hydrogens are there. If it is a saturated compound then there should be C 6 H will be 12 plus 2 14 hydrogen should be there. Isn't it? If it is a saturated hexane for example, hexane will have a 6 into 2 that is the formula of alkane we C n H 2 n plus 2. So, there should be 14 hydrogens, but only 6 hydrogens are there that shows uh, 8 hydrogens are less to its uh, saturated formula. 8 hydrogens means uh, 4 uh, double bond equivalents D B E we say D B E stands for the double bond equivalents double bond equivalents are a number of unsaturated sites and so on different words we are using. This is the one method of showing four double bond equivalents double bond equivalents may be a really the double bond or can be a triple bond or can be a rings. The combination of all these together will fulfill this four double bond equivalents. If a triple bond is there, there can be a four hydrogens accommodable here. A ring, every ring will have a two hydrogens less. Every double bond will have a two hydrogens less. Why this eight hydrogens less means uh, there can be a four double bonds. Four double bonds means eight hydrogens less or two triple bonds that means also four or four rings can be there or a combination of all these three. So, therefore, you will get a big uh, figure of uh, getting the different structures, but at this stage a scientist called uh, Kekule first time he gave the structure for the benzene depending upon some small internal observations and all that. He said the 6 carbons are there and this 6 carbons are having the 3 double bonds and every carbon is having 1 hydrogen. Based on one simple logical another support is the C 6 H 14 this is benzene is not it on reduction with hydrogen and in presence of nickel it gives a cyclohexane. So, on that basis uh, he said the 6 carbons are in the ring form and in that ring uh, 3 double bonds may be there. Now, the 6 hydrogens are NF to have this uh, the formula. So, based on that the Kekule suggested this particular structure and this structure was uh, appreciated by the different people and because the 6 carbons uh, needs that 120 degrees uh, separation and so on. So, the 6 carbons in the ring form with the 3 double bonds alternatively adjust for this formula and also explains this particular behavior reduction with the benzene gives the cyclohexane. So, this can be explained. So, it was appreciated by the number of scientists, but some scientists also opposed this structure and on some simple grounds like for example, that is opposition also has come or for this particular structure. If this is the structure what they said if it is monochlorinated chlorine in presence of ferric chloride monochlorination if I do it 
wherever I put the chlorine it is same product therefore single product will come right uh, that was verified and there is no problem for this single monochlorination there is no problem but for the dichlorination if I do it for example how many answers will come means uh, it can be 1 2 it can be 1 3 it can be 1 4 again 1 3 1 2 so therefore three answers are expected that is 1 2 and 1 3 and 1 4 these are the generally we expect three different answers are disubstituted or dichlorinated products should be three in nature but somebody also said uh, that uh, there can be a two different 1 2 products the 1 2 can be 2 how 2 will come so with the double bond with the two chlorines one product and uh, two chlorines uh, are separated by the double bond here isn't it two chlorines can be separated by single bond also like this so these two are not identical they said therefore 1 2 should be 2 1 2 with double bond 1 2 with single bond 1 3 1 4 so total not the three answers but should be the four they said four answers uh, should come because 1 2 is having the chance of getting the two 1 3 is 1 1 4 is 1 so total four answers should come so therefore some fish is there in the uh, structure of this benzene so it was declared that there is something wrong in the structure that is equally proposed structure therefore a number of scientists have come forward and go on guessing the structures are assigning the structures and based on some theoretical or practical evidences in that uh, the sequence of the reactions uh, alternative alternative structures were proposed and somebody said there can be a electrons donating like this to the center this was given by the Armstrong they are all great scientists but they could not guess what exactly the the benzene this was given by another scientist called Thiele there is one scientist he said there are two pi bonds are there but in the center there is a bond this was given by the Dewar. in fact uh, this structure was okayed for around 20 percent is right also we accepted later theories also and like that different scientists proposed but totally they were totally discarded this is the cyclopropane here cyclopropane another cyclopropane is attached uh, given by the Ledenberg like that a huge number of different alternative structures were proposed but none of them was approved by the all the different scientists but once again Kekule only gave the second time so again Kekule second time he proposed uh, that there is a, a one benzene structure he said that benzene can be changed into its another structure like this that changes into this this changes into that he could not explain much explanation why it is changing under what condition it needs to change and all that he could not but he said what I proposed the structure is double bonds are like here these double bonds can go into the other position can change the structure so structure 1 can change into the structure 2 so therefore what he said is what we proposed that the two chlorines with double bond the double bond may go here this double bond may go this so therefore another structure so these two are nothing but same they are exchangeable structures he said that's why one two three only this is a nothing but the duplication of the same structure so only three structures are possible therefore several times if you do only three are coming not the fourth structure that is the reason he said okay that's fine but the fine explanation that is why the benzene going on changing structure 1 to structure 2 to 2 to 1 
why it is changing why is a wonderful question second one is that how the once already double bond formed it is breaking and again forming again breaking and again forming doesn't requires a does it require some energy if at all energy is required to break and form and break and form where from the energy comes the what is the fun of doing go, going on changing the structures what is the benefit of doing all that uh, he could not explain later the a number of scientists have come forward to check the positive or the negative points of this kekule second time given structure and finally approved that the kekule second structure is the ultimate correct structure for which we have a number of uh, supports are there for the kekule one of that support is coming from the resonance theory so let us take the next point that is different supports are there or evidences in fact you can claim as a evidences for the kekule second type structure that is one of that structure is a resonance theory this theory clearly shows that if one double bond at one place if it goes on moving this double bond comes here this double bond comes here another benzene comes which is having a almost similar this benzene changes into that that changes into this the symbol also they have given a another type of symbol double headed arrow is given they said this and that is nothing but the same structure you can represent a resonance hybrid structure wherein the double bond is going on moving so we cannot say exactly where it is so this double bond fastly moving this place that place this place that place therefore this represent actually the structure is in between either that or that this so that's why when i add the bromine or any reagent the bromine think that there is a double bond so therefore it would like to attack on the double bond but by the time it approaches this double bond the double bond will become single bond it cannot add on the single bond so it will go somewhere and there also it is like this so wherever the bromine goes the double bond is going on changing the position or it is not 100% double bond position the double bond may be here may be here so nature of the double bond is decreased it has a mixed double bond single bond nature therefore as the double bond is moving such a type of double bonds are called delocalized localized means same place delocalized that is moving double bonds will have a less reactivity less reactivity means uh, more stability its potential energy is slightly come down so the lower potential energy they show lower potential energy means uh, the its uh, stability is more that's why the benzene by doing this uh, phenomenon of changing its uh, structure or existing in more than one structure for a molecule or ion we define as a resonance so therefore by resonance theory we are able to explain how the the benzene is going on changing the structure similarly the orbital pictures orbital pictures also explain that how this double bonds are going on this is explaining why to get the stability this is explaining how how the double bonds goes on changes means uh, we are thinking that the double bond is going on changing the position isn't it in fact uh, at every carbon we have one hydrogen and one unhybridized uh, p orbital if this middle p orbital makes bond with this side and this makes this side this makes this side will get one structure that is the double bond will be in this place the same orbital has got equal right to make double bond this side also therefore the double bond can be like this that means uh, the argument is here these double bonds are not going on running in fact this pi electron will have a equal chance of making double bond that side or this side that is what it is enjoying 
it makes sometimes double bond that side sometimes make this side it is not going on running at one place only it is staying but it is showing the alternative possibility of making the double bond this side that side so therefore these structures are going on changeable structures in fact so therefore that's why the possibility of more structures are possible for the benzene it is not actually breaking the bond and forming the bond again breaking the bond again forming the bond really requires energy but this molecule is doesn't is not totally breaking the bond and the moving the bonds are not there but we say that a pi orbital will have a 50 percent chance of making that side 50 percent chance of making pi bond this side that is what alternative structures are going on establishing similarly we have another phenomenon of uh, explanation that is from the the third evidence is from the ozonolysis ozonolysis of ortho xylene a xylene is nothing but a two methyls containing benzene right it can have the two structures between the two methyls double bond or between the two methyls no double bond so structure 1 and structure 2 both are possible for the xylene but now this xylene can show the ozonolysis reaction treatment with ozone followed by reduction with water and the zinc will cut into three pieces okay so this is the compound 1 this is compound 2 this is compound 3 what is compound 1 is a glyoxal glyoxal means a, a double bond with a double bond both the sides hydrogens right this is a methyl containing glyoxal a double bond with one side methyl one side a hydrogen only isn't it these are all hydrogen this side also you will get once again a glyoxal but one side methyl one side hydrogen so this we can say as a one glyoxal and two methyl glyoxals dimethyl glyoxal is zero zero number of dimethyl glyoxals are formed in the first case if this is the real structure then we can cut the molecule here and here and here in the ozonolysis process you will get piece number one piece number two this will become your piece number three so piece number one and two is nothing but the two moles of glyoxal this is glyoxal this is glyoxal this side a you have no zero number of methyl glyoxals will come but the piece number three will become dimethyl glyoxal what is that there is a keto with methyl a keto with methyl this is called dimethyl glyoxal how many one so two glyoxals and one dimethyl glyoxal from this structure from this structure one glyoxal two methyl glyoxal zero dimethyl if this is the answer you can go for the structure one is correct if this is the structure correct that is the answer you can go the second is correct but what happened really take speaking this ortho xylene if you take and do the ozonolysis you will get a 2 plus 1 that is 3 glyoxals ratio 2 gly methyl glyoxals ratio 1 uh, dimethyl glyoxal so 3 is to 2 is to 1 ratio of glyoxal methyl glyoxal dimethyl glyoxals are formed uh, when you take ortho xylene is ozonized it is not that pure or this pure mixture but a combination of two that is three is to two is to one is formed that shows this one and two will have a, a frequent changing of one into two two into one if you take one also you get that one two also you will get that one that results in the formation of uh, the changing of these two compounds uh, very rapidly that is why this mixture is formed this was done by the Levine and Cole. these two actually want to that is disprove this structure of the Kekule second time given but it has become a wonderful support for the Kekule. So finally we accept that the benzene has a three double bonds and these three double bonds goes on exchange fastly. So the exchanging double bonds are delocalized double bonds are represented with the dot 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 and this dots uh, 
every time you may not write. So, therefore, the benzene is allowed to write with a, a big 0 in the center, not the touching to the lines is not it that is not a double bond, double bond should not be touched to the single bond. So, you can put as big as possible, but see that the that a, a continuous big 0 it is okay, without touching to the the corners uh, you can put uh, or you can write the dotted uh, symbols like this uh, so that the double bonds are going on exchanging. So, many dots it is delayed. So, therefore, a continuous you can write it, but do not uh, touch to the walls of the benzene that is bonds of the sigma bonds. This is a continuous pi bond cloud we are showing. So, the p electrons all the 6 p electrons on the top all this pi will be orbitals are overlapping continuously all the 6 uh, uh, lower lobes also will be continuously this side that side this side that side overlap is not it. So, looks like a continuous overlap below and above there is a pi cloud in the center there is a sigma electrons uh, overlapping you can find that is the structure of the benzene finally, we give.